Hey YouTube family, for this project you'll need a hot glue gun as well as hot glue sticks. You will need some silver plastic napkin rings. I got mine from the Dollar Tree. You'll also need some scissors as well as some sparkly pretty ribbon or gems of your choice. Okay, family, to get started with this project, I'm going to go ahead and check the ribbon for any defects or any missing stones. Once I verify that, I'm going to get moving. I found this ribbon for $5.99 at Home Goods, but you can find it at any of your local craft stores. This particular roll came with 10 yards of ribbon, which is more than enough for this project. The napkin rings are hard plastic covered with a metallic finish, and I got those at the Dollar Tree six in a pack for a dollar. What you see me doing now is dry fitting the ribbon around the napkin rings just to make sure that I have enough length cut off to get all the way around twice and to crisscross and meet on the other side. Once I figure out how much length I need, I'm just going to use my fingernail to give me an idea of where to, where to trim it. And I'm going to use my scissors to trim off the piece I need. I want to be careful not to cut into the stones or not to cut too closely to either side. I just want to cut the gap in between because that gives me uh, enough leeway and also allows my ribbon to stay intact and not unravel. For the purposes of the video, I'm going to keep going and put my hot glue on the ring and get started. But in real life, what I would do is go ahead and take that particular piece and make it a template and cut out several pieces to that same length. Although in the video I'm showing you how I just put hot glue everywhere, I learned later on that I needed to just go a little bit at a time. I even realized I didn't like the way the crisscross looked on the other side. So what did I end up doing was taking each piece that I cut with my template and I cut it in half and I did two strips of either on either side of the napkin ring. You'll see what I'm talking about later. If you are going to put hot glue on the entire napkin ring, just know you have to work very fast before it starts to dry up. When I got to the end, I needed to put a little bit more hot glue to secure the end, and I held it in place for several seconds just to make sure it was secure. I didn't show it here, but if you have any pieces that are hanging off or any threads that are hanging off, you can always use the scissors to give it a little trim. I did find that I had little pieces of hot glue stuck to the napkin rings in places I didn't want them, but that is easy to just pull right off. It's not perfect, but of course it's the look that I'm going for for my tablescape. Here's the finished look of the napkin rings with a small tablescape just to show you the finished product and how it would look. I did one napkin ring showing you what it would look like if you did three rows of the ribbon. I prefer having a little metal showing on either side, but it's your preference what you decide to do. Okay guys, here's your final look at all of the napkin rings completed. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you on the next one.